my editor came back to me and queried me over a 50 naira fine in our uh, Legislative Powers and Privileges Act. I said to her, yes, it is not a mistake because we are operating a, a seven-year-old law legislation. We have not been able to do the basics. So until you bring these issues and then even where the level of who you take into a police force, this, have you gone to the police college? The last time President Jonathan visited there, we all saw the, the eyesore, the national eyesore there. Have the press followed up? So the basic issue is that so far as these institutions and then even the public themselves have not been able to address the basic issues. So until we come to that terms, we cannot look at crimes where issues or where you have systems. We have no system running. Uh -huh. I have a friend of mine who was robbed uh -huh. between 2.15 in the morning. By 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. in the morning, they were at the police station. Do you know what the police told them? To come by then in the morning. Rather than think of what? Sending out messages and the rest. Do you have a response system? And do you have the electricity working even? So who is a criminal? Who leaves the prison? There is no record on him. He comes in, he moves into the society. So these are the basic issues which you have to address. And they are not what you do with knee-jerk approach. It is not a pedestrian issue. It must be handled holistically. And then you look at your, what? Your basic patterns. I live in Lube. Do we have a record about what I do? So these are the basic issues of time planning and the rest. So just wondering now, mm. are you saying that, I mean, I heard you say that uh, what was done in 2015 was cosmetic? Yes, I still repeat it. So, and then when you do it, will it implement itself? I read about a victim. A, a woman took a challenge child to a school in Lagos and was maltreated by a, a, a psychologist, more or less. What the proprietors of the school did was to bring the, the captured video and call them without herself, calling the police. That another man, if you take the punch of last week, was kidnapped, his hand chopped. He said that on each occasion where they, uh, they were stopped by policemen, that the kidnappers were giving 2,000 to police checkpoints. So these are issues. And then the man, even when they raided two houses away from where he was, he was, uh, he was taking hostage, they couldn't come there. And there is no what. And they extorted almost 5 million from the man's family. The issue is this. Have you really taken the diligence and given professional analysis? Like I, uh, Kofi Ayan said, dispassionate analysis of what has worked and what has not worked. So well, where would we start? I mean, if right now we have something that looks like it should work, uh, something a lot of people have healed and said, well, it's a first step, at least we've been able to harmonize these laws. And yet you say, well, this doesn't look like it's still going to uh, bring justice into the system. Where do, where do we start then? The Constitution and law will always lay what? A framework for law and order. It cannot solve problem directly. So you check out the operators, the institutions that will operate. If you pay me 50000 a month, will I do a work judiciously? Then do I have the facilities to do the work? So these are the issues. And what now will interest any professional to go into public service? This is where the main challenge is. So these are the issues you will have to address. How many people do you have here? Lagos and Abuja carry almost 60% of active Nigerians. So, how level of police force do you have in Abuja or Lagos? These are the basic issues of time planning and the rest. And then response system. If I'm robbed, who do I call? And how will the person respond? We were told initially that once you move into this new registration of uh, cars, car place, by FRS and the rest, that every data will be there. After 15 years, where are we? So these are the basic issues. Then some people are victims of armed robbery or the rest. You go there, the hospital will tell you, oh, I will not treat you until you get a police report. Some of us will die before you get a police report. So until you bring all this to bear and then take it through what? A well-structured program, including your school curriculum, because the next generation will run us. And when they are involved in court or controlled by courts and other uh, uh, entertainment-driven settings, then we will be what? In the trouble where we are and we will not come out of it until we address it specifically. And I keep warning that it is outrageous that Nigeria will have 148 
universities from 1999 to now, and you go there in the universities, you won't see any reasonable what, facility to compete with the other parts of the world. These are researches the universities will undertake. What you call Marshall's plan was the Harvard program for the Americans. The Europeans had to go back through the European Union to recover themselves from the effects of the Second World War. So since we have no institutions, and you will not fund the idea that will help you, then you are in trouble. I have told you, take a trip to a police barracks mm. or a police divisional office, and then you come back and then compare with and um, benchmark with other parts of the world. Well, Mr. Yegwunam, we will take a moment now. When we return, we'll let you conclude your thoughts on the Administration of Criminal Justice Act in just a moment. Please don't go away. Mr. Emmanuel Ayegunam is still with us, a legal practitioner. Just, you know, in, despite the in, imperfections of the system, you know, people are still trying to do their work. So, for instance, now we find that the police had been on the trail of this uh, person for seven years, they say, they say since 2013 or 2012, thereabout, and they were able to finally catch him. Now, when they eventually do catch him, are you saying that really they've just caught him for the heck of it and he's not going to go beyond that? Well, if you have an individual and you are looking at the individual after seven years chase, you have a problem. Like what I'm saying is this. When we have a policy and program, execution threshold becomes critical. The map will always work. The map can hardly... The map is different from the territory that it defines. So your execution threshold and professionalism is what will help us with what political will of the leadership to execute. You remember the Bono Novo called his brothers from the East to help his job as IG because of kidnapping. Later, he lost his job. Can you take the average year of uh, uh, Inspector General of Police in Nigeria and how he will be able to work? Have you checked the same thing if you have no stability? Therefore, these institutions must be, stabil be stabilized with what? concrete plans for these things to work. That is what we are saying. But states are taking on responsibility. Quite, if there's any state that has actually looked at the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, Lagos State has. Yes. They've also invested quite a bit in the uh, judicial system, as it were, yes. and also in, in equipment for the police as well. Are you yes. saying that even where we're seeing some commitment of political will, yes. uh, very little is, will still be achieved? Yes, you, if you take up the judiciary in Lagos, we give them kudos. Then the police, or while the equipment comes from Lagos State Government, mind you, mm -hmm. now with what we have seen by repeated action of using the school as an underbelly, will you make them good? This is the issue. Because the basic issue, the holistic setting in this issue, even the school principals or the school compounds and the students themselves should not be reading what into what security conscious. If you go to climbs where you have earthquake, you see that even the children are living towards, let us live entertainment at this unit and face critical and serious issues, which we have them on leadership basis, including our curricula. So these are the basic issues we need to do what? To concentrate. We are the 21st century. We are no longer in the analog setting. So we should be able to what? Keep pace or match what the trend is. And that's what I'm saying. And this you will only do through institutions, well, not by isolation uh, or exclusion policies. Well, Mr. Emmanuel Aigunam, we must thank you very much for coming on Sunrise Daily. Thank you so much. But that's all we'll have to leave the conversation for today. Thank you so much for watching. And Maupe Ogun is back to you, Chamberlain and Gimba in Lagos. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, that's the show as well. We well, thank you for watching too. I'm Chamberlain Usa. Thanks for watching. I'm Gimba Omar.